Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced last week that they are expecting their first child as they began their tour of Australia. After a taxing week of royal events, Prince Harry is encouraging Meghan to rest. On Monday, October 15, royal baby fever struck once more as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced they are expecting their first child. The announcement came as the pair started their 16-day tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been married five months, wasting no time in starting a family. The royal baby is due to be born in the spring of 2019, and pregnancy combined with royal duties is taking its toll on the Duchess. This has meant Harry has set out for today's engagements on his own as mother-to-be Meghan rests. A royal source said, she wants to do everything, but Prince Harry is encouraging her to pace herself. This morning Harry travelled to Australia's Fraser Island and took part in a traditional welcome to country smoking ceremony. Afterwards, the Duke unveiled a plaque for the dedication of the forests of Gurry. A more arrested Meghan later joined her husband for a walkabout on Fraser Island. She had spent this morning at their hotel resting for the day ahead. The first week of their tour had seen the couple travel across Australia and attend multiple events, as well as taking time to meet royal fans. Meghan was glowing as she arrived by car to meet her Harry, after a much-needed rest. She wore a striped dress by Reformation and brown leather lace-up sandals. The Duchess clutched her growing baby bump as she walked with her husband in Queensland. A royal aide said of Meghan, she isn't sick. She just had a tiring few days and we were concerned about the roads on the island which are incredibly bumpy and uncomfortable for anyone, let alone a pregnant woman. But the Duchess was very keen to rejoin the Duke at the last engagement of the day to greet the people of the island. The parents-to-be were given gifts including flowers and bears during the walkabout. Tomorrow Meghan and Harry's schedule sees them fly to Fiji's capital, Suva. According to a statement from the government of Fiji, the Duke and Duchess will be greeted by a guard of honor at the airport in Nazari. They will then attend a welcome ceremony known as Virkar Kravi Vakivanya. Unlike his wife, whose pitch-perfect smile has become even broader since the pregnancy was announced, Poor Harry appears to be in danger of evaporating in a welter of growing anxiety. He seems to have inherited the trait of an open book face from his mother Diana and his expressions here suggest a man who is happily worrying for two right now. While Meghan sits confidently and elegantly, wearing an open-mouthed smile of genuine delight at the proceedings as she raises one hand to make a feature of her wedding ring and drop earrings. Harry sits with his torso bunched up in a self-diminishing gesture that suggests subliminal fear or worry, staring away in a much more reflective mode and with a very weak smile revealing what looks like clenched teeth. His legs play signals new dad machismo and pride but the heart-shaped hand clasp looks nervous until Megan places her hand in his and rubs his arm in a gesture of reassurance. His face-watching signals increased when they were out in the crowd and he sucked in his lips as he looked at his wife in another gesture of possible anxiety. It's easy to guess why Meghan's pregnancy might have resulted in these signals of high anxiety. With no mother to confide his worries in and a sister-in-law who has been incapacitated by sickness during her first months of pregnancy, despite the fact that Meghan looks glowing with health and confidence. It's likely that Harry is currently asking her if she's really really okay? Several times a day. You can actually see that question hanging in the air above his nonverbal displays. A few months ago his intense eye gaze rituals with Meghan would have looked flirty and sopily in love but here he has added a telling head tilt plus a more serious eye expression to turn a loving gaze into a genuine query. He was probably also under pressure here in more professional terms. The opening ceremony of the Games had just been delayed by a storm and he had a big speech to deliver in front of the eyes of the world. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announcing they are expecting a baby next year has tripled interest in their royal tour of Australia according to a royal historian. 
Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are in Australia on their royal tour and have been praised for the way they have greeted crowds during their trip. Last week Kensington Palace announced the Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle, wife of Queen Elizabeth's grandson Prince Harry, is pregnant with the couple's first child. Royal historian Kate Williams has claimed the interest in the royal couple has tripled since the announcement of the baby. Speaking on Channel 5 News, she said, There was always going to be a huge amount of interest, they are incredibly popular. Their big first royal engagement since the wedding, Meghan's big first royal engagement. But, the minute the royal baby was announced, that increased the excitement and I saw that it was the front cover of quite a lot of the Australian newspapers. She added, I do think it has now tripled the interest and there is interest worldwide as well. Clearly it has gone incredibly well because Harry and Meghan are winning people over. It is an arduous thing a royal tour? I do follow them and I understand yesterday Meghan couldn't sleep, she has jet lag, she's pregnant, it's an exhausting schedule, she said she was up at 4.30am doing yoga because she couldn't sleep. It's tough work and it is impressive they are doing such a great job of keeping going and smiling and really being great ambassadors for the country. On Monday Kensington Palace announced the Duchess of Sussex, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, were expecting their first child. The statement said, Their Royal Highnesses are very pleased to announce the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in spring 2019. Meghan had previously said that motherhood was on her bucket list. Back in 2015, before he met and fell in love with Meghan, Harry revealed that seeing his brother's family continue to grow made him wish he had some of his own. He said, of course I would love to have kids right now but there's a process that one has to go through and tours like this are great fun. Hopefully I'm doing all right by myself. It would be great to have someone else next to me to share the pressure, but you know, time will come and whatever happens, happens. The Duke of Sussex was all smiles as he greeted the crowds and gave his opening speech at the Invictus Games in Sydney on Saturday. He said, On this day on 1973 my grandmother stood in front of the Opera House and declared it open. Forty-five years to the day, I stand here and declare the start of the fourth Invictus Games. Built around their talents and needs. Not just built for them but built around their recoveries after they had their lives changed forever. Prince Harry also thanked crowds for the welcome you have given Meghan and I over the last few days. Meghan Markle may have told Princess Anne the exciting news that she is pregnant at Princess Eugenie's wedding in this touching moment. The Duchess of Sussex and Princess Anne sat next to each other in St. George's Chapel and they appeared to be having a warm and friendly chat before the ceremony started. However, now that Meghan, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, have announced they are expecting their first child it seems there is more to this conversation than just small talk. In one moment, Princess Anne looks down at Meghan's stomach as her coat was unbuttoned. Then in another moment the Queen's daughter makes gestures with her hands. Meghan copies the hand gestures as the pair giggle. It is unclear what they were talking about but it was speculated that the conversation was more telling after today's baby announcement. Charlie Proctor, the editor-in-chief of Royal Central, tweeted the video and said, I didn't want to say anything at the time because I know how annoying the rumor mill is, but Meghan's conversation with Princess Anne suddenly makes a lot more sense now. And looking at her stomach, the hand movements etc. Hashtag Royal Baby. One Twitter user responded speculating the hand gestures were referencing how big Zara Tindall was when she was pregnant. They said, no wonder the Princess Royal looked at Meghan so warmly, and I wonder if it was Zara or Peter that was that big. Another user said it makes sense now that Princess Anne was looking at Meghan's stomach. They added, that's also why her coat was open. Royal fans had wildly speculated that the Duchess's outfit on Friday was a major hint she was pregnant. She looked stunning in a Givenchy dress, finished with a hat by Noel Stewart and Pippa small jewelry but also wore a loose-fitting and long navy coat. The covered-up look is in complete contrast from sleek dresses she has been pictured wearing at a number of events recently. 
Royal fans flocked to Twitter and speculated that Meghan might be expecting her first child with Harry. One tweeted, Something about Meghan's outfit choice makes me think she's pregnant and hiding a baby bump. It's so conservative. Another wrote, I have a feeling Meghan is pregnant. She's glowing and her face looks fuller to me. Can't wait for them to announce it. One tweet read, Meghan Markle is definitely pregnant. My psychic intuition does not lie and that long coat is rather suspicious. Kensington Palace had remained tight-lipped on growing speculation that Meghan is pregnant until now. <laughs>